goal setting, okay? We take two, two and a half hours on the weekend for the whole 10 year plan. We don't have time for that tonight. But let me get you started with a little simple formula Mr. Schof gave me, and maybe this will be helpful. First of all, I've divided goals into two parts. First is long range. Long range goals, that's your dreams. Your dreams for the next three, five, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, actually the rest of your life. Your dreams, you've got to keep dreaming. Ronald Reagan, president, said to the joint session of Congress a few weeks ago, the republic is a dream. And if we don't keep dreaming, we will lose the republic. Your better future is a dream for yourself and for your family. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What do you want to be? What do you want to see? You've got to dream dreams, right? Not being on time is acceptable probably, you know, to a lot of people, but some, it's going to cost you. Now the mind must be nourished. It's got to have good food. Food for thought. Bread for the head, we call it. Yes, you need a slice of toast in the morning, right, for your body, but you need a slice of cassette. A slice of cassette you put in the car system and listen and listen. Let something feed your mind. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't just listen to anything and everything. Make sure that you're, you're your own best filter of what goes into your mental factory and spins out the fabric of your life and future. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Spend time. Be a selective listener. But you got to have a good diet, a good mental diet. When you walk into a home and walk into the pantry of the, you know, the kitchen, you take a look what's in there. It, it, this family's either going to be healthy or it isn't going to be healthy. A lot depends on what's in the cupboard. What you bring home, right, from the grocery store that you feast on for the body. It's not about the competition of knowledge. It's the competition of creativity. It's a competition of imagination. It's a competition of learning. It's a competition of independent thinking. If you think like a machine, the problem will come. In the past 20 years, we make people like a machine. In the next 20 years, machines will look like people. So in the future, it's not knowledge driven. It's the wisdom driven. It's the experience driven. In the past, it's the knowledge driven and it's the manufacturing driven. And in the future, it's the creativity driven. I think next 30 years, the world is going to change a lot. The new technology is going to change every aspect of the world. So this is what we think the world should be focusing on, not only the IQ, EQ, but also focus on LQ, the Q of love. Because only when you care for the others, only when you care for the others that succeed are more successful than you are if you have the chance. Say, in order for you to be rich, you have to do what? You have to add value, right? So I told you there's a way to know in the relationship if you're adding value, right? There's a way to know, right? Let's just use this number. I don't, I'm not saying it is right, but just watch me. 50-50, all right? Now, that's not the truth, but 50-50 would be what kind of relationship? Symbolically, what kind of relationship would that be? It would be an equal, right? But in a lot of our relationships, it's 80-20, which means that somebody's doing what? And then somebody's doing what? Okay, good. So somebody's giving more, somebody's taking more. When you hit 50-50, right? So watch this, I told you, get your character right, then add more value than you take. Short range. Short range goals, that's your goals for tomorrow, this week, this month, this year, the immediate future. We call these confidence builders. Because if you set up something short range, go for it, get it, latch, latch onto it, work hard, accomplish it. That starts building your strong feelings to go for your dreams. Now I've divided goals into three categories. Here they are. Number one is economic. That's your goals for money, income, business, profits, production. Economics, make sure you've got your economics well planned. Economics plays a major role in everybody's life. Economics is major, which means it ought to be meticulously well planned for tomorrow, this week, this month, this year, long range. Good times create weak people. Weak people create bad times. Bad times create strong people. 
Strong people create good times. My whole thing is leaders anticipate. Losers react. If you can anticipate what's coming you, can really take advantage if you wait. Till it hits you you're in trouble. The biggest problem people have is they think they're not supposed to have any problems are the fuel for growth. It's like you don't have any problems. You're either a liar or you might call them challenges it feels better I understand that anybody doesn't have problems these either totally asleep with the wheel or they don't have much of any kind of a life. Commitment to becoming excellent in your chosen field is an indispensable prerequisite for success that if you are not good at what you do you haven't got a chance in our competitive society unless you win the lottery. And only the top five or ten percent are excellent. You must commit yourself to excellence. You must commit yourself to becoming the best. And the wonderful thing is that excellence is a journey. It's not a destination. You never get there. Complacency and satisfaction are the key enemies of excellence. But once you commit yourself to becoming excellent, the whole world opens up for you. A very important point of excellence is this means simply this. Do your best every time out and always strive to do it better. Excellent yields offer, excellence yields opportunities because when you become good, you open up. It's almost like the, the Red Sea of opportunity opens up in front of you. When you become excellent, you come to the attention of people and people try to get you and they give you more responsibilities and more opportunities. You see, when we do something well, it gives us a feeling of self-esteem and pride. We feel like a winner. But if we do things in an average way, it doesn't give us anything. Now here's the simple formula for setting goals. It goes like this. A, work on your goals. That's step one. Work on them. And I put the word work there deliberately. Setting goals is plain hard work. I don't want to kid you. We haven't come here tonight to kid each other. It's work. I know it's work. That's why a lot of people just let it slide. It's work. Many people work hard on their job, but they don't work hard on their future. They just let that slide. And the work involved is making plans. I know most people don't. I understand that. But don't let that be you. Guy says, well, yeah, you work where I work. By the time you struggle home, it's late. You got to eat a bite of supper, watch a little TV, get to bed. You can't sit up half the night. Plan, plan, plan. And the guys be Young people, a lot of young people lose hope, lose vision, and start to complain. We also have the same problem. It's not a good feeling being rejected by so many people. We also depressed. But at least later we find that the world has a lot of opportunities. How you see the world. How you catch the opportunity.